Hello everyone. Welcome to a quad testing. So the goal here is to fly at least 12 minutes. And I'll explain the setup that I have while I fly and test out some components. First and foremost, this is a 3 inch running 1404 6500 kV from Roto, Rotor X. I'm running. Right. Signal no, come on. Talking about low RF. This is a crossfire set to 200 milliwatt. One minute. And for the VTX, I'm using the um, TBS Nano 32. the camera at 400 milliwatt <coughs> the camera is a boxer predator v4 oh yeah So the signal, I'm really, the patch antenna is for, I'm really at the back Two of my, um, here I'll show you where I'm, I am. So as you can see when I'm, my patch antenna is facing that way. And so you have a, a good view of where I was flying. So I went up there. Oh great for audio. This is perfect. Perfect timing, isn't it? So yeah, what I'm using is a 1.8 millimeter lens and I'll be fully honest with you, it took me a while, I'm still getting used to this setup because you look at an obstacle, it looks like it's 3 feet away but it's 6 inch. So that's hard. I made a mistake when I bought that camera. Um, Foxer has a new camera that is 14 by 14 shit. 14 by 14 that's the one I wanted that it can take up to 6s but they showed that on Instagram and I said oh I want that so I went to, to buy it but I bought the nano instead of I bought the micro instead of buying the nano and the one I have is 19 by 19 I wanted to return that camera sure. and um, actually it was $58 to send it back with tracking. So I kept it. Ça va? RF, signal low. <laughs> Hey, leave a bit. <laughs> that is. Ouais. Je t'en ai en vidéo.
five minutes. So this is also a 3S 850 milliamp battery. I have um, rapid fire and some uh, Six true minutes. RC antennas, as you can see what I'm wearing right now. And I have another, the very small one on my On my quad. And the frame is from my friend Mocha. Mocha frame. He actually because we're we we're I'm flying micros now. I'm not flying my five inch anymore. And we were discussing about Cine Whoop and building also prototyping some very lightweight frames and he during lunch break he told me that he had a frame for three inch that he didn't told me about Seven. he only had two so I have one of, of his prototype it's made of a T700 carbon fiber it's very lightweight it's like 7.5 grams this is very lightweight so I made a canopy and I took some part from my cine whoop and I'm waiting for the motors to be back in stock so in the mean meantime I decided to to get some uh, to get up in the air and fly someone is tickling me So while I wait for my parts, I decided just to make a quad Eight and just fly minutes. it. So technically all the parts that I have right here on this quad except the motors are everything that will be on my single. And under 250 grams. Mode, do you? Stop that, Lou. You're not going to get it. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Stop that, Lou. That's a good shot, yeah. Do you think so? The quad itself weighs at least 85 grams and um, if I can fly 12 minutes with a setup like this with these motors, 6,500 kV, I mean that's crazy, crazy. Obviously I'm flying very slow but you know it just gives you an idea that you know I'm having fun. Chilling around.
10 minutes. That's the whole point of FPV, right? Having fun. Now the only, also one of the things that um, is not done yet is the pids are still from my old aircraft, like the Cinewoop. So if I push this machine fast, well, I got lots and lots of um, oscillation and prop wash. So, but it definitely rips. That's pretty cool. I mean, at the end of the day, this seems to be quite a versatile uh, machine. I'm really impressed. The secret is those 1404 motors. So, what I wanted to RF say is low. that I'm gonna get the Airblade Superman 1404. 3850 kV. I've been using them, I just broke one. Uh, two. Yeah, I broke two motors. Because I, I fell safe in water. And it's weird, but I did burn the, the, the 4 in 1, which I'm using a Zeus F4 4 in 1. And the maximum is 3S. Okay, see the voltage right now? It's gonna drop really quick. So you're gonna see 12 minutes soon and it's gonna drop to 3.4, 3.3 really, really, really quick. So when I see 3.5 volts, it's time to land. Right there, it's, I'm gonna get 12 minutes just for you guys. So what I was saying is that with the, the other motors, I was flying 10 minutes with a GoPro. <laughs> So that was 238 grams under 250 grams. Okay, I'm gonna land. <laughs> 12 minute 18. Still tracking my face. Still recording. The video is 12 minutes 44. So um. Obviously, I have some light on the back. You can't see nothing really. But let's do this. Boom. Where's it? Wait. Like this. Osmo pocket. If you guys were wondering. So this is it, right? Um, it's um, I got the parts all in my basement. I just assembled it just to get flying during my summer break. Oh yeah, and the props are uh, Vorter X3044, which are surprisingly efficient. I have the Gemfan 3028, I think. And I was not getting that amount of flight time, but I, I don't think I was flying with the, this battery. But what? What this means is that you can fly for quite a long time. And I mean, obviously, as you saw, it's quite slow, but it's still fun. And that was my video, just to show you that when I'm having a lot of fun. And my goal is sometimes, you know, sometimes you think that high KV drains battery. It does, obviously, if you rip it. But if you go slow, I was quite impressed with the... With these motors and that prop combo. So yeah, there you go. Um, there's still a lot of props to be tested. I'm working on some cool stuff. So um, I'll keep you guys updated. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.